Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Here is another Waterman fountain pen that I have in my collection. I have two more except this one. So uh, soon, in theory, I will be done with all the Waterman fountain pens that I have in my personal collection. This specific model, the Expert 3, is considered a nudge over in quality over the Hemisphere that I uh, previously reviewed. And personally, I can definitely see it. The amazing thing for me was that I managed to get this at a pretty good discount. Purely by luck, at half the price it usually sells on Amazon. And uh, at that price, personally, I truly think it's worth it. So basically, shop around, uh, be patient, and eventually, maybe the right deal will come around if you are interested in this fountain pen. The fountain pen in itself is really well built and finished. Elegant and business-like uh, in presentation, in my opinion. It comes with a metal cap and barrel and a very comfortable plastic section. Cap has a beautiful clip with perfect tension and flexibility on it, from my perspective. One thing that I really like about it is that the cap clicks into place over the section and the barrel when posted. So posting the fountain pen is very smooth and secure. The only slight downside on this is that because of the plastic section, when the fountain pen is posted, it will be slightly top heavy. Probably a bigger issue for those with smaller hands. The nib is beautiful and seems to be the same as the one found on the graduate version. Same nib and feed setup. As the other nibs from Waterman that I have, uh, it is well behaved and no real issues with. The biggest disappointment on the fountain pen though, especially at the original price you pay for it, it has no converter included with it. I did have two cartridges, but no converter, which is slightly kind of a lame at the prices it sells for. With that said, let's dive into a quick writing sample before trying it out for a longer period with some scribble. Since the fondant pen came without a converter, I shall be punishing it and not use one. And I will be using an international long converter that I have lying around with some hopefully nice blue ink. I mean, uh, I am probably punishing myself in the end since the ink might not be that great, but I guess we shall see. Filling it up? Well, very easy. Just pop in the cartridge, squeeze it a little bit and off you go. It actually took almost no effort to get it going. And he started writing beautifully from the get-go without any skips or headaches. And he wrote beautifully as well, until the end. I really, really like the Waterman Nibs as I already mentioned. Or at least so far in my experience, they did not disappoint and I love their consistent line. This one seems to be working quite good on reverse as well. No flex on the nib though, just uh, a slight pleasant bounce if you press a little bit harder on it. Posted, you can feel it a little bit heavy towards the top, but I think I can manage using it posted, especially for the drawing portion, when I usually hold it a little bit higher on the barrel. So basically no complaints so far, so let's jump into the scribble and see if my opinion will change after a couple of hours of use. Well, for you, this is just the starting. For me, I actually just finished the drawing and I'm looking at it and recording, uh, well, my impressions just after I just finished it. And um, I don't know, I have mixed feelings on what I end up with uh, tonight. One thing, uh, I like the ink. I don't know what ink that is. Um, might be either a Parker Blue Black or maybe even Waterman Blue Black, I'm not sure. I do like the ink. The only thing is I have a little bit of regrets because what I was trying to do, unfortunately, wasn't really good for the shading part. And uh, yeah, uh, like I said at the beginning uh, on the writing test, most probably I'll be punishing myself <laughs> rather than punishing the fountain pen. I still kind of like it. It's sort of interesting. I did have a topic in my head or a specific drawing in my head. It was a sort of a ghostly 
bird, I guess, with glossy eyes, like bluish eyes, and uh, kind of looking over its uh, right shoulder. That was what I had in my head. And since I haven't drawn a bird for a while, I said, why not? Unfortunately, it didn't really turn out as I wanted it to be. I started in a style because I wanted to... I've been obsessed with a certain type of drawing lately, and I try to start that way. But then when I realized how long it's going to take me to fill the entire page on that style, I started to, well, do more random, larger lines and slowly build up the form that I had in my head. And uh, actually, most of it turned out okay. I think the biggest thing that I did screwed up was the beak. I don't like how the beak turned out. Uh, and um, partly it's because of me not knowing how to use and uh, properly use the ink in my favor. And I think I should have went a little bit lighter and I went too dark and it just turned out weird. And then I tried to balance it out with the lower portion, making it a little bit darker. And uh, anyway, it turned out uh, a little bit of a mess. At least it was a very interesting uh, exercise for me. Next time, hopefully next week, I'll try and, and put more plan into it. And hopefully I'll be able to finish a drawing with the drawing style that I was trying to do today. Also, I think I might have, I don't know, maybe I made the eyes pop too much. I think I should have maybe blend them in a little bit more with the colors. Um, I don't know. Anyway, it was an interesting exercise. I kind of like the overall shape and idea. But... The execu execution probably was not the best. I'll try and do better next time. I think probably would have turned out much better if I would have used a black ink. Not to solve next time. Anyway, that's what you get when you're trying to uh, use an unknown ink that you haven't practiced with. Speaking of ink, uh, going to the fountain pen it actually worked out pretty well. No complaints about it seems to work very nice uh, balancing head was pretty good especially uh, posted as i was drawing since i was holding it a little bit higher up on the barrel well somewhere between barrel and section in there nib uh, worked out okay at one point i did uh, decided to go and uh, use a little bit of um, micro mesh to smooth it out a little bit more because I think when I was trying to barely touch the page not like normal writing right I was just trying to glide on the page to do wispy lines for whatever reason it wasn't really leaving lines behind so I thought that was probably because maybe he had something on the knee but I just uh, decided to smooth that well to uh, glide it over the micro mesh a little bit that seemed to fix the issue and uh, after that I had no real other issues everything worked out pretty good um, in the end I used up about I think half no a quarter about a quarter of the ink in that uh, large international converter so I still have a lot of ink left I could have went more but it was getting you it is pretty late 3 a.m. in the morning like usual for me and uh, I already been on this one about two hours and a half it takes long to uh, fill in this page uh, I, I gotta admit I uh, sometimes I regret going with this larger uh, page format because in order to do something sort of a nicer it takes me longer so that pushes me a little bit more over time that I more than than I would like to spend on and I don't want to break it in two sessions because that's more work for me and I gotta find the time for it. Anyway, I think I'll stop my ramblings here. Bottom line, nice font, but I like it. I'm happy I was able to find it at the price that I found it. Uh, again, you can find that in the description. 
and um, I don't think I would have bought it at the full price so when I saw it I kind of pounced on it um, when I got it I think it was last year based on that definitely recommend it I really like it I enjoy it and uh, yeah it could be a very nice office uh, phone the pen if that's all you need you don't need a one block basically it's just as elegant and as nicely built in my opinion so yeah that's about it i guess with that said thank you for joining me and uh, hopefully i'll see you next week wish you all the best and a wonderful day or night wherever you are take care bye